grain refinement and modification of hyperotectic LSI alloys mold by two process. Abstract the solidification process significantly affects the microstructure and mechanical properties of the aluminum silicon alloys. This article discusses the effect treatment of the liquid metal, namely the refining and the modification on the microstructure and mechanical properties of a hyperotectic silicon aluminum alloy, molded by two molding processes. Sand mold and shell. The study shows that the microstructure affected for the two treatments and in the two molding processes. On the other hand, the refining treatment has a reciprocal influence on the mechanical properties. However the modification slightly improves the mechanical properties. Keywords, solidification, refinement, process, cast, molding. I introduction. Al, SI alloys are most widely used aluminum alloys due to their castability, high strength to weight ratio, corrosion resistance, etc. 1,2. This fosters uses to reduce cars and aeronautic equipment's weight and other automotive applications. 3,7. Grain refinement has regarded as one of the most effective techniques to enhance the mechanical properties of metal castings and to improve the formability of metal ingots. 8 to 10. The currently available techniques for grain refinement of cast metals include vibration and stirring. 11, 12, rapid solidification. 13 and inoculation treatment. 14. For solid metals, Severe plastic deformation is generally used to refine the grains to micrometer and even nanometer scales 15,16. In industrial production, inoculation treatment through addition of proper grain refiner is widely used in metal casting 17. For example, TIB2 and AL3TI are effective grain refiners to promote heterogeneous nucleation for cast aluminum alloys 18,19. In this work we are study the effect of inoculation and modification using tow process and shell casting. 2. Experimental Procedure The objective of our study is therefore to be able to control the microstructure, using liquid metal treatment in order to determine the most suitable treatment and casting process for obtaining high-performance, hypersilicon aluminum parts. For this, we will have to carry out a series of experiments such as tensile tests, hardness tests, cooling rate measurements. The table below presents the composition of metal using a production of test specimens. We cast different specimens allowing us to subsequently perform the various tests, which are a micrographic analysis, the recording of thermal curves, tensile tests, hardness tests, chemical analysis, and measurement of the porosity rate. B. Material available. To make these specimens, we heated the aluminum hyperotectic LSI 17 Cu4 alloy in induction furnace. During all of our castings, the alloy was heater in the same furnace to a temperature of 650 degrees Celsius without heating any other metal. We have cast different specimens allowing us subsequently perform the various tests, which are a micrographic analysis, the recording of thermal curves, tensile tests, and hardness tests. The objective of this study is a comparative the manufacturing of a hyperotectic LSI 17 Cu4 sample using tow process. The test pieces are cast in sand molds, produced by the PEP. Set process, comprising 5 test pieces and in a shell mold. Comprising 4 test pieces. To make the molds, we mix the sand with 0.5% phenolic resin relative to the sand mass, 4% catalyst, and finally 0.5% isocyanate resin. The tests carried out are on two treatments, the first being a refining treatment. The second is a modification treatment. See refining. For the refining treatment, we used as an additive element aluflux B, titanium and boron, in the form of 200 G pellets. Demodification. For the modification treatment, we used as an additive elements immodal 77, sodium, in the form of a 200 G tablet, 0.2%. E degas sing treatment. For the degas sing treatment, we used as an additive element degaser 701 SM, nitrogen and without sodium, in the form of a 200 G pellet, 0.5%. Three results and discussion. To study the effect of refining and modification treatments on the solidification parameters. We have produced test specimens by which to measure, mechanical propriety and microstructure tests using the two treatments for both sand and shell molding processes. A mechanical tests, RM, E. The various cast specimens will serve us mainly to determine the mechanical characteristics of this alloy. For this, we carried out tensile tests. Then, in the analysis of the results, we will only consider the test pieces giving consistent data, and we will take an average of these values, considering the standard deviation and the dispersion of the measurements. The blue tables serve as references, that is to say, they indicate the characteristics of the test pieces without treatment. 
we recall that a percent represents the permanent elongation of the test piece under the stress rm to compare these results and to be able to analyze them let us draw up the following graphs that is to say young's modulus e gpa tensile strength according to the different treatment rates refining and modification rm mpa permanent elongation a percent with regard to permanent elongation of test pieces the previous graph reveals some trends first the refining treatment does not promote strong permanent elongation whether in shell casting or sand molding however we see a minimum reached for 0.6% ripening fig 8 curves of variation young's modulus tensile strength and elongation as a function of modification for using sand mold with regard to permanent elongation of test sample the previous graph reveals some trends first the refining treatment does not promote strong permanent elongation whether in shell casting or sand molding however we see a minimum reached for 0.6% ripening 0, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%, 0.0%
we have noticed the overall degrading effects of the refining on the mechanical strengths and the microstructure. On the other hand, the modifying agent proves to be effective because from the rate of 0.5%, we obtain a suitable microstructure, which improves the mechanical resistance. In a more general way, we were able to determine the effects of refining and modification treatments on a hypersilicon aluminum alloy which was relatively little known until then. Acknowledgement. This work was carried out at Ensom Means. Is part of Mali Ismail University in Morocco. I would like to thank all the technical and administrative staff who have helped us to achieve.